In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a wholesale area to your Shopify website. Before we dive into the tutorial, I wanted to give you a quick preview of what this will look like when we're finished. Uh, you can see here on my demo shop that if I go to the catalog page, uh, we have a test product and it's priced at $25. So this is what normal retail customers would see. Um, however, if I go to log in to my account, you'll see that the navigation has changed and now instead of catalog it says wholesale products when i click on that i see the product um, it's marked wholesale and the price is now 12.50 uh, you'll be able to set the price at whatever you want for the wholesale version uh, for this example i just set it at half the price of the retail version you also see that i have a link in the navigation here called info and when i click on that we have a page where you can put information or downloads or anything like that that you want your wholesale customers to be able to access now if I log back out of my account, you'll see that the navigation changes back to the regular retail version of the navigation and I see the normal pricing again here. So the product is $25. So let's dive into this tutorial and I'll show you how to set up this wholesale uh, feature on your Shopify website. The first thing that we need to do, step one, is edit theme.liquid. So we do that by going to your Shopify dashboard, going to online store, and then themes. Now I'm working in the minimal theme, however this code will work in any theme. If you have any trouble, just leave a comment on the video and I'll do my best to help you out. But this should work in pretty much any Shopify theme that you might be using. Um, keep in mind that if your site is live, if there's live traffic coming to your site, then you probably don't want to work in the published theme right here. So if that's the case, then you can duplicate the theme and then work in the unpublished version. Uh, for this tutorial though, I'll be working right here in the live theme. So we need to go to edit HTML and CSS right here. And this will open up our theme editor. And we click on theme.liquid right up here at the top. And looking back at the tutorial, the first thing we need to do is find the code that looks like this. Content underscore four underscore layout with these little curly brackets on the ends. So I'm just going to double click on this part and copy it. And then go into my theme.liquid and do a search, uh, which is command F or control F if you're on a PC and that'll pop up this little search window and I'll just paste in content for layout. You can also go to edit in your browser toolbar and click find to do a search as well. Um, so that'll immediately drop us down to where that code is and uh, the next thing we need to do is replace it with this code right here. So I'm going to select all of that, copy it, come back here, select this code, make sure that you include the two curly brackets at the beginning and the two brackets at the end. So we want to replace all of that with the new code. I'm actually going to hit return a couple of times to give us some extra space just so we can see more easily what we're, what, where we're working. I'm going to hit uh, command V to paste and here's the code that I just added. And I'm going to tab this over so it's uh, indented inside here. All right, step two is add a snippet called wholesale note. Uh, I'm just going to copy this name here, Wholesale Note, not including the quotation marks. And I'm going to scroll down in my theme editor to Snippets. Open that folder and click Add a New Snippet. And I'm going to name it Wholesale-Note. And it's important that you match that exactly uh, with the hyphen and everything for this to work right. And next we need to copy and paste this code into that snippet. and then we'll save. So what this is, is the message that people will see if they somehow find a wholesale product or a page that you only want wholesale customers to be able to see. So you can read the text here. It says this page is for approved wholesale customers only. And then we have a link to log into your account or contact us to request a wholesale account. So this way, if somebody, let's say you have a wholesale customer and they should be able to access your wholesale products, but they're not logged in, they'll see this page and um, they won't see all this code, of course, but they'll see a message that they either need to log in or if someone doesn't have a wholesale account, then they can contact you to request one. And this is the link to your contact page. Um, if your contact page has a different handle, um, then you'll just need to change that to match whatever the handle is. And you can tell what that handle is by uh, looking on your Shopify site and by clicking, um, for example, on my about page, the handle here is about hyphen us. So whatever the handle is for your contact page, make sure you plug that in right here. 
All right, step three is to add some new templates. So we go back to the theme editor and we click in the templates folder, we click add a new template and we add one for a page and it's called wholesale. And now we need to do the exact same thing with um, products and collections. So I click add a new template again, select product from the drop down menu and call it wholesale. And then we'll do it one more time for collections. So what we have now is a page template, a product template, and a collection template that are all named wholesale. And what that means is that you can make any page or product or collection on your website for wholesalers only. And if anyone who's not logged in as a wholesale customer that you've approved, then they'll see the wholesale note that we have over here. If they are logged in, then they will be able to see that page or product or collection. Now step number four, we need to create some wholesale products. And so what I'm going to do is right now, uh, if you look at my catalog, I have just one product called test product and it's $25. And I need to create a, another version of this product for wholesale. So I'm going to go in my sidebar over here to products and I'm actually going to open this in a new tab so that I can keep my template editor open here. And I'm going to open up my test product and I'm going to duplicate it, this button right up here on the top right. And I'm going to call it test product wholesale. So when I duplicated it, it's going to copy over the text and the images and the price and everything. So this is basically an exact copy of the, the previous product. And the only difference is I'm going to change the price to uh, 1250 and you can make the price whatever you want um, but generally for wholesale it's going to be a good bit cheaper than the retail version um, and you you may or may not need to charge taxes I don't believe you normally do for wholesale um, and let's see here so now if we refresh this page we'll see that um, our our collection our all collection has both the test product and the wholesale product and the the regular product is $25 the wholesale version is 1250 Obviously, we don't want to do that. We don't want to show both of them. All right, so the next thing we need to do is make sure to choose the wholesale template here on our product page. And again, this makes it so that only wholesale customers will be able to see this product. And we'll save. Um, we also need to create a wholesale collection. So we'll go back to products and go to collections. And so right now, um, I'm going to add a collection and call it wholesale and I'm going to manually select the products. So here where I'm adding products, I'm going to choose only the wholesale product. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to create a regular collection. I'm just going to call it all. And this one is going to include only uh, the non-wholesale version of the product. All right, so we now have a collection that's called all and has the handle all and this one has our regular test product and then we have a wholesale collection and this one has our wholesale product. Now in your wholesale collection, make sure that you choose the wholesale template again here, just like we did with the product. We're now back on our main catalog page, uh, which is the collection with the handle all and we can see that it now has just our main test product, our regular price product, $25. And if we try to go to the wholesale collection, what happens? We see a message, this page is for approved wholesale customers only, and a link to log into your account or contact us to request a wholesale account. Let's go back to our tutorial to, to wrap things up. Step number five, add the wholesale tag to your wholesale customers. And my recommendation is to first create a customer account for yourself, just so you can test out this feature, make sure that it's working correctly. So you can do that by going in your Shopify dashboard to customers and uh, add customer, and then put in your name and email. And then down at the bottom here, where you see tags, you want to type in wholesale. And if once you've already tagged a customer with wholesale once, it'll show up down here. Um, but for the first time, you just type it in like this and hit comma, and it'll add that tag. 
And what that does is it says that the person with this name and email address um, is an approved wholesale customer. So only add this tag to your customer accounts who you want to have access to your wholesale pricing. And I'm getting an error because I didn't enter my name and email. That's okay because I already created uh, an account for myself here. All right. So um, what I can do now is I'll go to the front end of the site and I'm going to log in. All right, now that I'm logged in, if I go back to the wholesale collection, um, I will be able to see that collection. I can see the wholesale product there with the wholesale pricing. Now, one problem with this is that if I go to catalog in the navigation, it's gonna take me to the regular retail version. And so we wanna make sure that if someone's logged in as a wholesaler, um, they see a different link here. They get taken to your wholesale collection rather than the retail collection. So to do that, we actually need to change the code that shows this menu so that it'll check and say, check and see if someone is a wholesale customer. If so, show them one menu. If not, then show them the regular menu. So let's move on to step six. All right, so for step six, we are looking for this code right here. And it'll say something like for link in link lists dot main dash menu dot links. And so I'm going to just select part of that code right there. And this often will be in theme.liquid, but it's not always. Sometimes it'll be in a snippet called navigation, uh, site nav, nav or menu. So let's check and see if it's in theme.liquid. Um, so if we type in our search bar, uh, the link list.mainmenu.links and search around, we don't find that anywhere. Um, I do see uh, this here, which says include drop down and include mobile menu. So what that means is it's including two different snippets, one for desktop and one for mobile. So we need to check both of those snippets. So over here in the snippets folder, we look for a drop down and then we also need to find mobile menu. Again, this will vary depending on which theme you're using. Um, in the minimal theme here, you'll need to open both of those snippets. In other themes, you, you'll be able to find this code in theme.liquid or in another snippet called navigation or menu or something like that. Um, so in dropdown.liquid, um, I see this code right here that I was looking for, for link in linklist.mainmenu.links. And so uh, when I found that, I need to replace it with this code right here. So I'll copy that and paste it right in here. And I'll tab that over to match the indention there. And then um, make sure to save. And then in mobile menu.liquid, I will do the same thing. Find the exact same code and copy and paste that in. And save. Uh, again, just make sure to check and see if your theme has separate code for mobile navigation like the minimal theme did. It had uh, the dropdown.liquid for desktop and mobile menu.liquid for uh, mobile. And you'll need to make sure that you copy this menu code in both places to make sure that whether someone is on their regular computer, laptop, or a phone or tablet that they see the correct navigation. All right, the one final step that we need to take is to go to navigation here in the sidebar. And uh, if you don't see that, then first click on online store and then navigation and we need to add a new menu. So right now we have a main menu and that's what regular retail customers will see. And we need to add a new menu called main menu wholesale. And this is what your wholesale customers will see. So this can be um, exactly the same as your regular menu, except that the catalog link or, or shop link or whatever you wanna call it is going to link to the wholesale collection rather than the retail collection. So we have home catalog, blog, and about us. So just set up those links. So this will this will vary depending on what kind of links you want to include here in the main menu. Um, the main important thing is that you include a link to your wholesale collection rather than to your regular uh, retail collection. All right, so now if we go back and we refresh the front end of your website. Um, if we hover over catalog here, you'll see that down in the bottom left of my browser, it's going to take us to the wholesale collection. 
And if I click on that, it'll take us to the wholesale collection. So what this means is that we're looking at the wholesale menu right here. And we can test that by back in our navigation. I'm just going to close that tab. Back in our navigation, I'm going to change the label catalog to something like wholesale products, just to make it absolutely clear that we're looking at wholesale. Um, so then if I refresh again, this has changed to wholesale products. Now, if I log out of my account, I'll no longer be logged in as an approved um, wholesale customer. And watch what happens when I log out. It immediately changes back to the regular menu. And if I go to catalog, all I see is the regular retail pricing. So that's pretty much it. Um, the main thing to remember is that you uh, need to go into customer accounts and make sure that a customer has the tag wholesale right here on their account. And once they have that tag, all they have to do is log in using their regular customer account username and password, and then they'll be able to see your, um, your wholesale products and collections. Uh, one other thing, let's say that, for example, you wanted to provide a page where your customers could uh, download images or get some special information and it wouldn't be a product per se that a wholesale customer would need to buy but it might just be some information that you want only wholesale customers to have you could do that by going to pages and we'll add a new page and we'll call it something like info for wholesale customers and uh, this is some information <laughs> For wholesale customers only so this might be sensitive price information or other things that you wouldn't want the general public to be able to find um, but only your wholesale customers um, the way that you protect this is by over here in the template again just like with products and collections you choose page.wholesale and save and so now if we try to view this on your website it'll tell us this is for approved wholesale customers only and again we have to log in and once we are logged in if we try to preview that page again, we'll see info. For, we'll see the page content, and we could even add a link to this page in our wholesale navigation by going back to our navigation menu, going to the main menu wholesale, and adding a new menu item. So as you can see now in my wholesale menu, I have a link to this info page that only wholesale customers can access. Well, you're all set now to start selling wholesale on your Shopify website. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions. I'd be happy to help. Just leave a comment below and uh, make sure to sign up for my email list at envision.io to get news about new Shopify tutorials and other e-commerce tips and help in growing your online store. Thanks for watching.